the inheritance of Wing Chun, from Lung Jan to Chen Shun, to Ip Man, and finally to Bruce Lee. Chen Shun, a disciple of the renowned Wing Chun master Lung Jan from Foshan, rented Ip Man's ancestral hall to open a martial arts school. Due to his youth and frail constitution, Ip Man was fortunate enough to become Chen Shun's disciple and learn Wing Chun. Chen Shun, known for his intelligence and diligence, often taught Ip Man personally, while in Ji Chang so assisted by sparring with Ip Man and explaining the intricacies of Wing Chun, greatly enhancing Ip Man's martial skills. I've heard that Ip Man paid 15 tails of gold as tuition to learn Wing Chun. I'm not sure if that's true. After Chen Shun passed away due to a stroke, Ip Man trained hard with NG Chang So for three years, making even greater progress. He was only 15 at that time. The following year, Ip Man came to Hong Kong to attend St. Stephen's College as per his father's wishes. During this time, he met Lung Bik, the son of Lung Jun, through a classmate's introduction and trained in Wing Chun with him. In the 38th year of the Republic of China, Ip Man, who was 57 years old, left Foshan to settle in Hong Kong. Over the next two decades, he opened martial arts schools in various locations, including the Hong Kong and Kowloon Restaurant Employees General Union, Russo Street in Kowloon, Li Xingwe Village, and Tung Choi Street. Ip Man was highly respected in society and the martial arts community. His students came from all walks of life, including foreign students. In 1971, Ip Man's disciples established the Wing Chun Athletic Association, which integrated teaching, research, and exchange of Wing Chun. This association became the center for spreading Wing Chun worldwide. Ip Man's disciples were highly skilled, especially Bruce Lee, who gained fame worldwide with his exceptional Chinese martial arts. Bruce Lee, who was physically frail in his youth, sought out the renowned teacher Ip Man to learn Wing Chun. At 18, he went to the United States to study and later opened the Jun Fan Kung Fu Institute in Seattle to teach Chinese martial arts. During this time, he diligently studied and absorbed the essence of both Chinese and foreign martial arts, creating Jeet Kune Do. In 1971, Bruce Lee returned to Hong Kong to work in the film industry, producing several Chinese martial arts films that shook the world cinema. He was hailed as the King of Kung Fu, and the fashion Wing Chun he learned in his early years became popular worldwide.